Well, welcome to week 41 and week 42 of Esper's Refit video updates. Unfortunately, we've been so busy, we've barely had time to do any recording. So here's just a few highlights. And, by the way, behind the camera, we have Liz, who's returned after two and a half months in the UK. Which means I might be able to take a day or two off work. Hey, Smosh. Little update. Dang has been busy. Uh, he's now uh, basically hermetically sealing the saloon, uh, ready for the last part of the varnishing. Having done the cabin, so we're uh, so we sectioned off the galley there. He sectioned off the uh, cupboards. Meanwhile, Tom is going to be routing our combing to the combing that uh, runs down here. We've had a long discussion and decided that it needs to follow the contour of the ceiling uh, rather than running parallel to the cupboards there. Anyway, after much debate and discussion, Tom's drawn the line in. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, he'll be cutting it. Oh, and whilst I was in Penang getting my new visa, I went into a hardware store and the first thing I spotted were these smart little handles. Finally managed to install the windlass. Um, we used uh, polyurethane sealant here because uh, the only points at which this is fixed are four bolts here and here. So we need to use an adhesive sealant at the front, just to keep it in place. So there's our teak base. And near enough a line centre. It's a little bit difficult, but that's as close as we could get it. Back in the machine shop, and um, this is something we haven't seen before. It's our new bow roller. And what we've done is we've taken the old bronze rollers and uh, we've cut them down to size and this is our pivoting roller which will allow our anchor to haul in and out uh, easier. So all of this has been machined in the shop. Made to measure. itself and the two bronze rollers taking one from there one from there and we're going to be using the end one as our actual uh, bow roller mechanism. Previously only had retrofitted a third roller presumably for a, uh, a second anchor because two anchors wouldn't fit there and uh, so we'll uh, just make a new nylon roller for these two here. Let's customise it a little bit. Let's grind away inside uh, to allow space for the actual mechanism to fit. Saturday morning. I'm feeling a bit peckish. I fancy some uh, some barbecued rodent. How about some barbecued rodent? It's pretty great, isn't it? Do you yeah. like it? Do you fancy some? <laughs> what are they? What are they, Un? Otters. No, they're like um, on the tea, they eat the fruit. That um, in Thai we say musang. Musang, and it's edible. Mm. For some people, anyway. Really. Oh, 
conch. Yeah. What are you doing today? Yeah, the cat and This is what Tom's doing today. He's making a right hash of my four switches for my stereo unit. I mean, I always want two, three, four, five and a half, six and a half holes for four switches. Well, at least they're parallel. Seriously, though, he's using a bit of uh, acrylic here as the cover to be cut to the correct shape. What's that, a little plug? <laughs> when carpentry goes wrong. In between deck fitting duties, Ton has been tasked with placing these metal inserts into our cupboard doors just to give a nice finish and also obviously to stop wear and tear. You can see here some of the finished finished cupboard doors. They look pretty smart. Quick yard kit and update. They're all looking healthy and well and being extremely pampered by yachties and locals alike. And we're up to four now. Siobhan, can you name them please? Sar, uh, Dusty, Nala and Sam. Mm -hmm. Oh and Sam, making a mess as usual. <laughs>